Hello everybody, it's me Alexis Mateo and me Nikki Dahl and welcome to a brand new episode of Fashion Photo Review. Drag Race Holland baby. Woo! Yeah. Look at you serving us realness. You look gorgeous. Because I'm going shopping after this. I need some milk and some eggs. You look amazing. Thank you. I just felt my little, you know, goatee 80s <laughs> moments. You know, I have something to say. I'm a little upset. I don't have nails, but I'm punk, so it's okay. Category is Monsters Ball. Today is a monster ball. I'm expecting big old transformations, scary looks, over-the-top mm -hmm. looks, and teaching us some good class on Monsters, baby. They are triple threats. They know how to sew. We saw that on the first episode. They know their colors, their textures, they know fashion. So I have a feeling that this ball is going to be pretty, pretty iconic. I can't wait. If you were to do a monster ball, what type of monster would you be? I think I would be a pretty monster. I would dress up as you, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna focus on pretty and uh, forget about monster. You're a monster because you're that pretty girl. <laughs> I actually will be the chupacabras because I'm Puerto Rican, duh. Alexis, we asked for a transformation. <laughs> Knowing that this runway is gonna be scary as hell, uh -huh. what are you scared of, girl? Everything that I can't hear, bugs or snakes or things like that you can't really hear, it doesn't sit well with me. I got nightmares with snakes, no tea. It's one of the scariest things ever. And also I'm very scared of my banker. I'm very scared of checking my bank account and find out that the balance is zero. And you know you're still gonna get that drink even if it's zero below. <laughs> 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 now that we are here and we are scared as hell, bring these monsters in, baby. First up is Ivy Elise as Devil Fish Queen. Ooh, underwater. Oh my God. Wow. Somebody bring her back to water, baby. I don't know what we just experienced, but that was <laughs> far beyond drag. I can't even tell you exactly what the material have been used for this jumpsuit, but the craft is insane. And you also know that the bitch is not comfortable walking in this because she cannot breathe whatsoever. <laughs> but I am fully obsessed because not only there is like some special effect attached to it, the work on the mouse is insane and she still brought some fashion to the sea monster which has like a beautiful satin eggplant color gown. The color of her skin is perfection to become alienist. This is incredible. This reminds me of one of my favorite movies, Shapes of Water. From the scales, details, that little horn hanging to, from her forehead, Everything is incredible. She understood the assignment. I can't even remember her face under this. Like this is like a whole new drag queen that just joined the cast. <laughs> it's a female fish queen. With this prosthetics and latex and things like that, it can go wrong really fast, but her silhouette looks amazing. This is perfection to me. I don't know if she's smiling because she got a lot of teeth there, girl. She has a lot of things to say, let me tell you that. <laughs> That's a big wet toot. This is an out of this world toot, baby. All right, up next, Tabitha as Miss Venom. Okay, Tabitha wearing black and looking dangerous, baby. I like the silhouette. I am not a fan of the disconnecting uh, moment between the neck and the mask and the dress. I see a lot of skin there. I think you could have been used in a different way, like a makeup or some yeah. kind of detail there because her silhouette looks sickening, completely covering black. It's very mysterious and kind of gothic to me. Other than, uh, than the neck showing too much skin, everything else looks gorgeous. And I love how many details this dress has. Her legs, her um, the dress, the train, everything is beautifully detailing. I love a queen that is not scared to go really monstrous and she really when there. I love the proportions of, you know, the shoulder pads, mm -hmm. the, the, the arm that goes with the hip. So everything is well proportioned. If I have to be picky, I would have preferred to have like maybe a half mask so we can still see some part of her face because that could be anyone under this, to be honest. Right. I agree that the disconnection between the chest and the, the, the neck is annoying because she was channeling Venom from Spider-Man. 
the whole skin of Venom is black, so there's no need of having a nude neck. But she was committed. That is a monster ball. She served it. And it's still very eleganza, which I love. And I love that she doesn't have hands. It's like a pistol. What the hell is that? I love it. You know, it's one of these dildos that have like alien. <laughs> I never bought one. I promise I don't have one under my second... Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Bannon full of dildos is a toot for me. It's a toot. Next up is Vanessa Van Cartier as How Is Your Head? My goodness gracious. That makeup is everything. Vanessa Van Cartier, girl. Okay, how is my head? My head is confused, girl. This look is gorgeous. I love that you pick white. It's beautiful from head to toe. The shoulder proportion, the waist, the hips going out symmetrically. I mean, this is beautiful. I love that everything that is showing real skin is part of the outfit. Like the hands, the fingers are elongated with the nails yeah. and the chin contour. Girl, look at those teeth. You guys need to go to the dentist, bitches. <laughs> oh my God. Even the head that she's holding as a purse is genius, incredible ex execution. And I love when, when she turns around, it gave me that moment of like a wedding dress uh -huh. uh, moment. That's one of the creepiest, beautiful looks on the main runway right now. Miss Vanessa Van Cartier is a pageant queen and she managed to make spooky look elegant and rich. She has a very structured outfit. I love the material that she used. The details with the blood is so well thought out. And her face is so disgustingly beautiful because even though her, you don't want to kiss her or even touch her teeth, the mug is stamped. I don't know which planet she's from, but she's definitely ruling it. And she's <laughs> the empress. And you know, pageant queens are difficult to get ugly, you know? We're trained to be beautiful. So when you see this and the amount of makeup and shaping that she did on this face, to look this way, it's so well done that it's so polished. I mean, this is incredible to me. We had two girls that used masks to transform. She did it all with makeup, and that is kind of what I expect from a drag queen. I want to see the craftsmanship with makeup and how you're going to be able to transform your face. She did it on her skin with her skills. She didn't put no mask on her head. And the way that she incorporated those stones in the forehead coming down, I mean, just impeccable. It's a very super amazing toot for me. It's a big toot for me as well. Up next, Vivaldi as Thalassophobia. Her silhouette is amazing in this look. And the way that these latest pieces are coming out, this is gorgeous. The color palette is beautiful. It gives me like alien underwater and it's scary as hell. <laughs> she really brought like some futuristic touches to the look. It's, you mm -hmm. know, it's very, like you said, it's very galactic. Another queen that did an amazing makeup on her face. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what type of monster she is. It's well um, executed and it's tasteful. How do they work on looks like this in such a short amount of time? I am <laughs> Right. This is incredible. I love her headpiece. I love how it connects with her eyebrows and her makeup and everything is just perfection. Her skin color on that face is just Incredible. Look at the detail on this hairline on the on the eyebrow section. Like this is just beautiful. It's a monster, but it's a beautiful monster. It's a monster that has a lot of water money in her pockets because she has like some weird sunglasses. She is royal, regal. That wig is just out of this world. The way she position some of the pigments on her face really makes it look like she's almost like magical. Gorgeous. The attention to detail is again, insane. So that's a big toot for me. Yeah, it's a underwater toot for me, baby. It's a troop. It's a blue, blue. <laughs> Next up is Kera Minaj as Beauty of the Ball. What kind of queen of the ball is this? Girl's like a crumpus, girl. This better not show up in my neighborhood during Christmas season, bitch. That is something that is definitely a little more costumey. I feel like it's, it's definitely a concept. She was not really serving me monster, but she gave me monster couture. I love how it's almost like she scalped herself yes. to create a gown. And there's still the reminiscent of, of her body showing up with the muscle and the blood. The makeup, it's beautiful. I think that this fur kind of like looks a little on the cheap side, but 
it because she served everything else. It's, it's, it's beautiful. I really love the combination of the flesh skin and the color of white. I think it's beautiful. From the neck down, it's giving me a female body. What I have a little issue is in the face. That's when I find the disconnection between the female body and the male face. I kind of see male through the face. This one is giving me two genders. Sometimes it works. In this case, I do not like it because I think with the hair, the white hair in the back, the horns and all that, I think it should have been more female looking. I think she's giving you gender fuck cross-dresser monster because if you look at her peck, that is not titties. So I think she is a monster drag queen. So that is kind of cool. Yeah, if you like it, that's on you. <laughs> all right, all right now, she said that. She said that. Um, but I'm going to say, I do really like the, the mouth she got in the RP. Girl, let me tell you, if you try to put deodorant on this mouth, it's gonna eat your deodorant. <laughs> it's like a very cool detail that only a monster will have. Yeah, I love that she has like random mouths in, in her body. I just wish that it would have had a little more detail so we can actually see that it's a mouth. Yes. But besides that, it's just amazing. It's a tooth. It's a tooth, baby. Baby, I am going to Holland for Halloween. Let me tell you that. <laughs> oh, no, I'm staying home for that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up next is Love My CC and Marriage of Me and My Beautiful Demon. So this is one of those highlights to the movie Gremlins. You were probably not born yet, Nikki. Maybe, I don't know. But I, I, I did saw it. I, I, I love her. I love her. She's iconic. <laughs> <laughs> the way the... This makeup is done again, is another amazing work of art. I love the detailing, I love how big her mouth looks, her eyes are shaped, I mean, the girls are not playing with makeup. Do you think it is actually makeup or is it a mask? Let's find out, let's go close. It's a mask. It's a mask? Yeah, so that's, that's the issue that I have. Okay, let's stop this right now. Y'all got me. Someone, somewhere, has a great artistic detailing on creating a mask that really looks good. I feel like this is kind of like a cheating moment, right? The achievement of the concept is amazing, but if you put out just a mask, where is your craftsmanship? That, that's, that's the issue that I have with it. Now, did she do, you know, the Gremlins, 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 Gremlins? Gremlins, Bride, <laughs> sound like me, bitch. Honor, Bitch, we have the same issue. <laughs> that's why they put us together. <laughs> Did she pay the Gremlins Bride homage? For sure, I think that you know exactly who she is. I do love the beautiful dress. I love the, the sportswear kind of cut jacket with the beautiful skirt with the waves. It's a beautiful ball gown, um, leopard print, beautiful detailing, it fits her lovely. But I don't like that I don't see any other part of her body being Gremlin. I wish I would have seen a piece of her leg being green or her hands or something more than that because honestly, I didn't see the green on the rest of the body. But a mask is kind of like a letdown for me. So just because of that, I'm gonna have to do it. I also gonna boot this look. Next up is My Little Pony, Arachnophobia. Now I know you know what arachnophobia means, girl. Scared of, of, uh, of bugs? Spiders, girls. Of spiders. So, she's gay. We already know this. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think the face is just spot on. Now, the issue that I have is if she really just put uh, hair to mimic the fact that she has many arms, it's a little easy for me. If she is a human that has been contaminated by some spider venom, then that makes sense. If she is supposed to be a spider, it lacks some things, but it is, Beautiful. I love the color story too. I think that this pale pink goes really well with the black. I love that you can tell it's a female character coming down the wrong way as soon as you look at this. The color of the skin from the headpiece to the makeup, to the neck, to the titties, the leg, everything is cohesive, the same color. So you can tell what body parts are showing in this look. I love the cut A gown with the split and I love the coloring and I love that she incorporated hair and the whole entire ensemble. 
I have a little disconnection because the title of this piece is Arachnophobia, what means she scares uh, spiders. But this actually looks more like the goddesses of the spiders or like the queen of the spiders. So yeah, the title and the look don't go together for me. I think it makes sense. It's like she is your biggest fear. You are scared. You have Arachnophobia. She is the goddess of spiders. Well, guess what? I don't like spiders, but I do like this look and I think she will be amazing in a club. So I would hang out with her and I would not be scared. I know she's not poisonous, girl. <laughs> Alexis is not here for poetry, bitch. She's here for no, facts. It's, <laughs> no, it's actually really pretty, but I do agree with you. I think it should have had go bigger than just this. If she would have had just some elements of the arms for the spider, it would have been just a little more spot on. But I love that she looks like Elvira going to Whole Food, you know? She puts some sunglasses on, she has her fangs, and she's ready to pick up some organic foods. I love it. If I remove the headpiece out of this entire look, it's just a drag queen in a prawn dress with hair. I'm gonna give it a boot. It's a two. All right, up next is the Countess as Don't Say My Name Three Times. Oh my God. The color combination and the patterns on this outfit is beautiful. Another makeup that is just out of this world. She's definitely uh, channeling Beetlejuice, but she definitely turned herself, her face into her editorial version of it. She used a bold cap, which is again, something that is not easy to do. The reference is not always exactly it, but you need to use your own culture and references to get it. And from the color of the outfits to the color of her skin, you get it right away. This is not that boring Beetlejuice outfit that you can see at any custom store. This is Beetlejuice by Gautier or Alexander McQueen. This is just so, uh, so amazing. This is beautiful. The proportions are beautiful. The patterns of the lines, even the stockings. She found the right stocking that almost continued the dress. I love that it drags in the floor. I love the little hat. I love the two feathers. I mean, it gives me more like a bug coming out of a, the beautiful outfit. I mean, this is just brilliant. Worthy of a cover of any magazine of fashion. This is perfection. And I love that she's also many different monsters at once. She looks kind of like a queen of bugs, but she's also Beetlejuice. And <laughs> no matter where your mind goes, you will find that the assignment has been respected. And that to me is a winning look. So you know this monster eat caviar, baby. Oh, it baby. Is what it is. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Girl. She is she is a monster, but she's she got is some money. not scared of her banker, let baby, me tell you that. Yes. And you know she came in a limousine. And I want to say your name three times, the countess, because you <laughs> and I can sit together. Let me tell the you countess. that. The countess. The countess. The countess. The countess. The countess. <laughs> now give me that look, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's a toot. It's, it's a beautiful. You know what? Oh, I'm gonna shoot it. She deserves a shoot, baby. Oh my god. Trend alert. Teeth. Teeth. Long teeth. Fangs. Fangs. Teeth. Yellow teeth. Flip Bad breath. <laughs> Pointy teeth. <laughs> No dentist here, baby. No dentists were heard in the making of the monster ball. No dentist was invited at the ball pitch. That, that's, no. that's the tea. <laughs> none, of these that's monsters the tea. Have, <laughs> none of these monsters have dental insurance. That's for sure. <laughs> Get those teeth away from my face. Our top tooth of the <laughs> Our top tooth of the weekend. <laughs> Our top tooth of the weekend. <laughs> Top two of the week is the Countess. Girl, she is a stunning. She gave you glamour, fashion, monster, makeup, artistry. Everything is amazing. This was beautiful. Fashion, well done. Makeup impeccable. Everything is amazing. Great job, girl. I am gag supreme with this look. The girls are not holding back. This is a fabulous season and an amazing cast. Doesn't it make you feel so happy to see Franchise of Drag Race bringing it so strongly? I'm so proud to see drag from other countries just like killing it like that. And that, that makes me so, so happy to be a drag queen in 2021. It's amazing. Don't forget Fridays are Drag Race Holiday. So don't miss it in the Netherlands at Videoland. And everywhere else, worldwide, on Wow Present Plus. Bam. Bam. <laughs> <laughs>
Ooh, let, let me tell you, girl, I am not gonna look at no mirrors, open no closets, and not look under the bed. This is gonna be a difficult night. This looks were scary as fuck, but they were gorgeous at the same time. I'm so confused. This is crazy. Let me open my grinder. I don't wanna sleep alone. <laughs> Sometimes, bitch, the monster is on grinder. <laughs> Two ten now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> She's not gonna say two ten, y'all. She's scared. <laughs> I don't know. It might sound like Tommy Brown. <laughs> oh, I mean, that would sound like. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Uh -uh. that wow.